there's a guy who apparently with his chi can start fires. And there's a video <laughs> of him just doing this above a piece of paper and it just and this is a while ago. So I'm like, did they edit it? Is but that they, for real? They oh, swear. No, I don't know. But they, it looks real. Hey, everybody. Before we jump into today's show, I just want to send a special shout out to at Kelvin Benson, 7839. He's being recognized as an honorary producer for today's episode. Now, how did he get that honor? I'm glad you asked. It's because he's an executive access member on our YouTube channel. And guess what? That could have been you. Oh! All right, now don't get jealous now. You can have the same recognition. You can get the same shout out. You can get the same producer credit if you become a member. So all you have to do is go to our YouTube channel, uh, hit that join button, and become an official Bandit Future YouTube channel member. Remember, you get a lot of perks just for doing that. And... But wait, there's more. You get to do something good because you're helping your boys out. You're helping us to continue to create more fun and positive content for you to enjoy. All right. Don't you be sitting back and giggling and snickling. All right. That's not a word, but I made it up. But you know what I mean. Just be sitting back, taking it all in for yourself. Give a little something back. Help your boys out. I got to edit these videos. It takes 10 hours. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you my life. Become a member. Uh. Damn. What's up, everybody? I'm Zap, and this is Jericho, and we are the now six-time international award-winning pop, hip-hop music duo, Bandit Future. Uh, we make clean, fun music that everyone can listen to with a sound that's uniquely Californian. And right now, you are tuned in to the Life's a Circus podcast, where we talk about everything that is funny, interesting, and ridiculous. But before we get started, help us out. Help us grow this YouTube channel. Help us to not eat mayonnaise sandwiches for the rest of our lives. <laughs> And click the subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, share this video, leave a comment because we talking about uh oh da 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 da, -da. X Men just one bar nice <laughs> da 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 it's different um <laughs> it's not the same it's not the same ding 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 that little bitty change it's not the same. Uh, yeah, Vanilla Ice Kids, look them up. Um, anyway, wiggity whack, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That was a cool thing to say though back then. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> wiggity wiggity whack. Um, anyway, <laughs> X Men, real life X Men. I think it's going to be a possibility in the near future. I think that's where everything is headed because they're doing stuff we talked about in another episode with gene editing this crispr thing it's always it's it started back in 2009 it's still going where they're manipulating dna and originally and possibly still it's for to help humanity you know cure diseases things like that but, i have expressed my desires <laughs> triple boobs this is it <laughs> <laughs> like we've seen this story before. I think it's gonna take a turn, man. So <laughs> this is the this these are the turns that I think it's gonna take. Okay. Um so stick around because there are three things. Do oh uh, damn yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not two, man. I know, I know, I know. I got false it's alarm. Two. False alarm. <laughs> it's three things that I think will be possible in terms of having a quote unquote superpower. Mm -hmm. um, something that you could actually have um, that they've seen results from. All right, so mm -hmm. stick around so you can see all three that you could possibly have. Uh, again, we start off with the X Men. Is uh, what was the what was the superpower that you think you probably wanted? Some kind of a shooting energy, which is always right, very right, right. random, like shooting in it. What kind of energy, you know? Mm -hmm. But I do remember seeing something, and it has to do with like being able to channel chi and it was a video oh, like, i thought you were gonna say cheese and i was like okay <laughs> somebody would want that power that sounds messy Ugh, like, <laughs> uh, i don't even want to think about that that's gotta be crazy anyways so um <laughs> like milk coming out is bad enough but oh man anyways how dare you how dare no, you no no oh. <laughs> Mozzarella, Parmesan, pow, pow. 
Take it's like that. the kid from Goofy Movie, but instead of having it, he just can do it. Like, <laughs> anyways, no. Uh, there's a guy who apparently with his chi can start fires, and there's a video <laughs> of him just doing this above a piece of paper, and it just. And this was a while ago, so I'm like, did they edit it? Is but that they, for real? They oh, swear. No, I don't know, but they, it looks real. And because he he's just like out on a sidewalk, there's nothing like staged looking. So who knows? But they say that some people can do that with chi. They can actually uh, do that. <laughs> I can same only thing. hear cheese. <laughs> I mean, it, it just you take the cheese part and then just cut the end off, and then you have chi. There we go. You started a fire with cheese. <laughs> uh, it also sounds not possible, but maybe flammable cheese. Okay. Make it a, make it a thing. <laughs> All right, well, not quite shooting uh, energy out of your body, but um, these are common super superhero powers that people have wanted in the past, I think, that um, I say it, it's going to be a possibility. Okay. So, uh, number one is super strength, right? Sure. Uh, so, Jim, this is going to be a bunch of scientific jargon i don't know genetic mm -hmm. mutation in acvr2b got it whatever that is mm -hmm. um it's significant significantly associated with lean muscle mass uh this this acvr2b codes for a receptor that inhibits a naturally occurring something that limits muscle growth so basically like you're you you uh, as you develop muscles, you're, something in your body says, okay, that's enough. Right. And then it kind of limits your growth. Mm -hmm. And so this genetic whatever um, increases muscle mass. It kind of tells that part of your body to like, shut up. <laughs> sure. It's like, we want more muscles. Um, and so that's totally a thing. And they, they even have bodybuilders take mm -hmm. supplements of something related to this that uh, significantly significantly increases their muscle mass. Interesting. Okay, but here's, here's the thing. <clears throat> so from what I understand, bodybuilders aren't the strongest people. They just look strong. So their muscles are huge, but they're not as strong as like a power lifter. Mm -hmm. Or even I've watched videos of like those um, arm wrestlers where they're pretty skinny, but because of their technique, they can beat a bodybuilder any day. My question is, is it possible with this to make someone strong? Like think like orangutan strong. They're way stronger than us and they're smaller than us. Right. Yeah. Is that achievable? Because the way I'm hearing it is that they'll keep making your muscles bigger to make you stronger, which seems one, like how do you get around? And then two, does that actually make you stronger or does this make you bigger? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is an actual two things. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is he right here? Is he right here? Is he right here? I'm <laughs> So I guess the, the first part of that is that um, when, when people have these mutations, like we said, like the naturally occurring ones, um, I think we didn't really get to this in the other episode. It's, there's usually a bad side to yeah, it. Yeah. So it's not like they're like superheroes. It's like, yeah, I can lift this much weight, but I also can't get out of bed in the morning or so like something right. there's right, some right, other right. you know yin and yang to that okay. so um that's like that's like the first part but then so but these these bodybuilders aren't getting their genes manipulated mm -hmm. they're just they're just taking something that like some part of the research that's legal to take i guess okay. and using it to enhance themselves rather than literally going in and altering their DNA. Yeah, I got you. So I think once they once they do that <laughs> DNA altering, maybe they can get that more specific mm -hmm. to where it's just it's not just muscle, but it, it's like a certain type. Because yeah, again, this is like studying animals like um, orangutans or like even ants. Mm -hmm. They can lift like multiple times their body weight and stuff like that. Um, I think this is what this manipulation is trying to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. Boom. I would not pick that one. 
Um, <laughs> what if you uh, what if you with your lady in Tinder times and then, oops, got too strong, <laughs> and then you have to find a new lady? Like it's bad. I think it's a bad Tinder times. Tinder times. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the first. Isn't that what the kids say? Uh, sure, man. <laughs> Uh, that's the first one, super super strength. Uh, second one, uh, maybe you're interested in is super hearing. Um, so, the Preston protein encoded by the SLC26A5 gene. Did you get that? Nope. Okay, nope. cool. Um, it may be the key to ultrasonic hearing, um, similar to that uh, of animal sonar. So I don't know. I don't know about. Again, this is them manipulating that specific gene, but it has occurred just as a genetic mutation, just in life. So this is a guy named Daniel Kish. Uh, he lost both of his eyes during infancy and uh, developed uh, high-level echolocation skills. Uh, so he can ride his bike through crowded streets and down steep mountain trails by himself without being able to see. Um, and he is one of the best echo locators in the entire world. Yeah, I'll pass on that one. Don't <laughs> <I>? <laughs> well, what that sounds like to me is that I hear so well that if someone sneezes too close next to me, I'm going to go deaf and rush my ear. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. So I don't want it. I don't. I don't need that. That doesn't seem useful. Maybe if we were in the woods, having to find the falling fruit. Yeah. I, I guess so. Yeah, but. thing like bats or stuff like that. Like it's basically like you can see at night. No one can sneak up on you. I think it'd be helpful. Quit ruining my superpowers, man. All right. I don't, I'm waiting <laughs> for the good one, man. I'm waiting for the okay. one. Like, Ooh, I want that. Maybe, maybe this is the good one because I saved it for last. Okay. Uh, super speed. So when we think super speed, who's uh, super speed? Who's the first person that comes to mind? Yes, Usain Bolt, who did the hundred meter sprint in nine point five eight seconds. People say that he may carry uh, what they nickname as a sprinting gene, which is ACTN three, which encodes a member of the alpha actin binding protein family, and is believed to increase the volume at which fast twitch muscles fibers fast twitch muscle fibers move ah oh, you get all that a bit better except for all the letter things but this is what i this is why i don't do science I see. music um so this is probably the most promising one because of this test that they did so researchers in federal polytechnic school in switzerland took out this NCOR1 gene in mice. And they said when they took out this gene, they grew larger, denser muscles, and they were able to run twice as fast. That sounds crazy. So, okay, my I, one, I, I, want, I want that too. <laughs> but my, my concerns or skepticism comes from, from this. I feel like doing it in smaller creatures so like comparing ants in their strength rats and whatever speed i mm. think gravity has a big role in this too so smaller things get pulled on less by gravity so if we're like i want to see this done in something that our size because it seems like it would take a lot more to make something our size go twice as fast because of how much pull that we generate with our weight mm. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like it's easier to do it with something smaller. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I feel like it's not so much the weight thing as it is how our bodies are constructed. Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, even if you change one thing, like our bodies are built to do certain things a certain way. If you if you just if if you just change the speed part of you, like maybe you don't have the muscles or the bones or the nervous system or the cardiovascular system to run two times as fast. Sure. 
Right. Like if you some if you just instantly got the capacity to run twice as fast muscularly, would you yeah. do it and then your heart explodes because like what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that part. In the words of Juwan, that part. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> okay. So yeah, if it's, it's again, this this is all speculation. This is just things I read on the internet. And of course the internet never lies. Um undefeated. So <laughs> But uh, yes, I mean these these scientific investments uh, have been documented, so it's not like it's impossible. But I think if if things if you were able to get superpowers, I feel like those would be among the first things mm. that would be available to you. I guess they all seem like they could have benefits depending on what you do. Yeah. Sure. So, but then who's going to say, hey, you can't compete against the normal speed people because you're the super Saiyan speed people now, you know, like, yeah, test them for not doping, test them for DNA contamination. Like, you can't, yeah, that's the thing too. Like, you, how can you do that? Because you can just be set, you can just be like, hey, I'm, I'm just had this special Usain Bolt thing and I eat sweet potatoes and I smoke everybody now. <laughs> not, yeah, it doesn't sound, it doesn't sound fair. Yeah. So uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Do you want superpowers? Uh, are these among the three that you want? Super speed, super hearing, super strength. Uh, do you want something else? Is everyone crazy? Should we all stop this madness and just be regular human beings? <laughs> it might. That might be the answer, honestly. But <laughs> Yeah, let us know. But uh, we're going to stop here once again. This has been another episode of the Life's of Circus podcast. And um, I know one thing. If you have super speed, super hearing, super strength, you'll be very valuable. Mm-hmm. It's going to be hard for them to fire you. It's going to be hard for them to take your job. It's going to be hard for them to take your job. Oh, super Saiyan X-Men. Oh, destroy the building before you leave. Oh. Yeah. They took our jobs. They